สวัสดีครับ It's the start of a brand new week. It's Monday, August 5th. I'm JP m i s t a n z a and you're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. After zigging and zagging against attempts by crocodile hunters to capture him, the saltwater croc in p a k o k has finally been caught. The crocodile was first spotted swimming in a tin mine lagoon adjacent to the Mission Hills Golf Course last Wednesday, and search efforts were launched, which later saw officials identify the reptile as a saltwater crocodile, about one and a half meters in length. The croc evaded capture for days as the crocodile hunting team, led by Nikom Suksawa, he stated that visitors arriving to catch a glimpse of the croc could have been scaring the crocodile from coming ashore. Early this morning, he announced that the team successfully recovered the crocodile. At the moment, the animal will be temporarily housed at the Phuket Coastal Fisheries Research and Development Center in p a k l o k before being transported to the Pangna Coastal Fisheries Research and Development Center. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Motorists who have to drive past the heroine's monument on Tapka Satri Road are being warned to brace for more traffic as work is set to continue in moving the power poles alongside the busy road. Later this month, the power poles are being moved ahead of construction of the heroine's underpass. The period of work that began last Wednesday has concluded today. However, the work will resume from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day on August 13 and 14 next week, with work along the southbound lanes from the heroine's monument to the t a r u a Shrine underway. The work will then continue on the north side of the heroine's monument from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day on August 15. Through the 17th, with power poles being moved all the way up to the Tai Watsadu branch, the same section of the north side of the monument will resume on August 26 through the 28th, according to t a l a n g Traffic Police. Authorities have issued maps showing alternative routes so that motorists can avoid using the Heron's Monument roundabout. It's all in preparation for the expected construction of the Heron's Monument underpass project. Which still doesn't have an official schedule for when construction will begin exactly. The underpass will feature three lanes beneath the monument, with two lanes for outbound traffic and one lane for inbound traffic. Above the ground, the roundabout around the monument will have two lanes, each lane three meters wide. The underpass will include pedestrian walks with entrances and exits at key locations, such as in front of the jewelry outlet and the Robinson Mall. The bidding process to select a construction contractor is being managed by the Department of Highways. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. A group of half dozen whales was found stranded in the bay off Baklok over the weekend, and locals quickly launched efforts to get them back into deep waters. Though sadly, one small killer whale died during the ordeal. The six whales, which were later identified as pygmy killer whales, were found stranded near Ban a u k u n g Of t a o l e Bay at about 3 a.m. on Saturday by local villagers, who immediately provided care and assistance while waiting for the tide to rise. These types of whales are rarely seen near shore, and it's believed that the group may have become disoriented and separated from their pod, or were driven ashore by strong waves. After some time, a representative from the t a l a n g Fisheries Office, along with the director of the Marine Resources Research Center of the Upper Andaman Coast, k o n s a k i t i w a t a n a w a n g They arrived at the scene with the team from the Department of Marine and Coastal Resources to provide treatment for one of the whales, which was critically injured. In addition, one of the other whales did not make it and later died. Rescue teams used boats to gently guide the whales away from the shore, ensuring the safe return to deeper waters for the surviving marine animals. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Throughout July, reports from Patong Surf Life Saving shows that lifeguards posted at the busy beach had rescued at least 53 people from rip currents in 29 incidents. Patong Surf Life Saving confirmed the figures in an announcement on Friday, saying that during the month of July, Patong lifeguards were able to save about 53 people from the dangerous rip currents just off the beach. 
In addition, three people were treated with first aid for injuries on the beach, while 11 people required first aid from 10 incidents in the water, in which four people were rushed to Patong Hospital. The month of July was deadly for swimmers at Phuket beaches after four tourists drowned in the waters off Phuket, including one in Patong last Wednesday. Late last month, Virun Chuasaman, the head lifeguard at Surin slash Bangtao Beach, called for intensive campaigns to educate tourists of the dangers of rip currents and strong waves during the southwest monsoon to help reduce the number of people drowning at tourist popular beaches. Mr. Virun's call for better awareness among tourists of Phuket's dangerous surf followed five people drowning at Phuket beaches in less than two weeks in June. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. The Justice Minister for all of Thailand paid a visit to the Phuket Provincial Prison in Bambangjo over the weekend to inspect the prison and prisoner conditions. Minister of Justice Police Colonel Tawit Sotsong, along with Narong Nukong, the Inspector General of the Department of Corrections, visited the prison on Sunday. However, their first stop took place at the Bang Yai Canal, where they oversaw inmates dredging the canal to prevent flooding during the rainy season, to whom the ministers provided encouragement. During their inspection of the Phuket Provincial Prison, officials oversaw an activity to provide ID card services for 50 inmates nearing release, and also paid a visit to the dentists and doctors taking part in the Shared Health Dentistry Project in correctional institutions in Phuket Province, which sees dentists volunteer their time to provide care for inmates, specifically 600 inmates to receive dental services. The president of the Sports Association of Phuket also joined in the inspection, and during their visit on Sunday, they donated Muay Thai sports equipment to Phuket Provincial Prison. The aim is to encourage inmates to use their free time productively by practicing Muay Thai, a sport that the government promotes as part of Thailand's soft power. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Thanks for kicking off your week with us here at Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.